Hey, what's up YouTube? It's me, Andrew. Today I'm doing my full review on the all-new HP Spectre 13-3010DX laptop. Alright, let's get started. So HP introduces the all-new HP Spectre 13-3010DX Ultrabook laptop with a slick looking design, an extra large trackpad, and the latest Intel Haswell processors. Let's see if this laptop is worth your hard-earning bucks. Alright, let's get started with the specs. This laptop features an Intel i5-4200U processor running at 1.6GHz with a turbo boost up to 2.6GHz, 4GB of RAM, 13.3-inch LED backlit high-definition touchscreen display with a resolution of 1920x1080, 128GB solid-state drive, Intel HD Graphics 4400, SD card reader, 2 USB 3.0 ports, 802.11ac for the Wi-Fi, Bluetooth interface ready, this laptop features a truffle brown finish on the exterior and champagne gold on the interior. This laptop comes weighing in at 3.3 pounds and measures just 0.6 inches thin. For the operating system, we have Microsoft Windows 8.1, and the retail price of this laptop is $999. Alright, for this section, let's go ahead and take a look at the connections and ports on the left side of the laptop. Alright, starting from the left, you got your security cable slot, USB 3.0 port, headphone and microphone combo jack, SD card reader, Alright, let's go ahead and rotate to the right side. Alright, starting from the right side, you got your AC charging port, HDMI output, mini display port, and a USB 3.0 port. Alright, for this section, let's test out the boot up speed on the 128GB solid state drive. Alright, here we go. HP logo. Logging in now. And boom, we're done. So roughly around 10 seconds, which is insanely fast for this laptop. Next up, let's talk about the build quality and the finish on the all-new HP Spectre 13-3010DX laptop. The exterior features a beautiful truffle brown aluminum finish with champagne gold on the interior and sidewalls. HP did a magnificent job on the design of the new HP Spectre laptop. I am highly impressed with the overall build quality and design. Take a look at how thin this laptop is. This laptop comes in at 0.6 inches thin. Let's go ahead and take a look at the bottom now. The bottom features a truffle brown aluminum finish as well, just like the top. Alright, let's go ahead and open up the laptop and take a look at the interior. Take a look at that stunning champagne gold aluminum finish on the interior. As well as the extra large control zone trackpad. This thing is a beauty. Let me give you a couple more angle shots of the laptop here. So you get a better idea of how the aluminum finish looks. Take a look at that finish. Awesome design. Alright, next up let's go ahead and test out the touchscreen performance on the 13.3 inch LED high definition backlit display. Let me go ahead and launch Internet Explorer. Here we got MSN website here. Let me go ahead and scroll down. It's been pretty smooth and accurate so far. Let me go ahead and try to do the multi-zoom here. Very smooth. Check that out. Overall, I've been highly satisfied with the touchscreen on this panel. Next up, let's talk about the gorgeous 1920x1080p display. Text and images look sharp and crisp. Only cons was the brightness level was not as bright as I would like it to be. Alright, let's go ahead and test out the viewing angles here on the HP Spectre laptop. Starting to blur out a little bit. Overall, the viewing angles were decent on this panel. Nothing spectacular, however, it should get the job done. Alright, let's go ahead and rotate to the left side now and test it out as well. There we go. There goes the blur. Alright, let's go ahead and rotate the laptop back to the center and test out the display by tilting the display down. Alright, here we go. Overall, still crisp and clear with this angle right here. So this is highly acceptable when tilting it down. This section I'd like to demonstrate the all-new control zone trackpad. On the left side, you got your left control zone. And on the right, you got your right control zone. Alright, let's get started. Here you got your right, let me go ahead and click down. Here you can access the start menu to search by just scrolling up and down on the right control zone. You can click on it as well. Let me go ahead and exit right here. Let's go ahead and test out the left side now. Let me click on it. There you can show up your multitasking bar and navigate through the one you'd like to see. There we got the Bing Sports. Let me go ahead and launch up multitasking bar again. Let's go ahead and check the weather. There we go, launch it again. And there we have Bing Finance. And we can scroll all the way down and access the Start menu. 
After using Control Zone for the past week, it has made the Windows 8 experience much more exciting and easier to navigate. Next up, let's take a look at some of the preloaded apps that HP included this laptop with. The good thing here is there's not too much bloatware. Here you got a free box account with 50 gigabytes of online storage, McAfee Central, HP File Viewer, HP Connected Music and Photo, and the home run hitter here is the free Adobe Photoshop Lightroom 5 64-bit version. This program normally retails for $149.99. Thanks, HP. Next up, let's talk about CPU and RAM performance. The Intel i5-4200U chip has been quick and power efficient. From web browsing, word processing, watching HD video, to even light photo editing, this processor has been very good. The 4GB of RAM should be fine for most users. During my test, I didn't experience any issues with RAM management. However, keep in mind the RAM is not upgradable. Next up, let's take a look at some Geekbench 3 performance scores. This is a 64-bit version. With a single core score, I got 1,642. Multi-core score came in at 3,448. And Cinebench R15 reported 152 CB for the CPU. Next up, let's test out the GPU performance on the Intel HD Graphics 4400 using 3D Mark. For the iStorm, I got a score of 36,465. For CloudGate, I got a score of 3,280. And for Firestore, I got a score of 573. The Intel HD 4400 can play light duty games like FIFA 14, but don't expect to play Battlefield 4 or Need for Speed Rivals. Next up, let's test out the 128GB solid state drive using Crystal Disk Mark. On the read speed, I was able to get around 487.9 megabytes a second, and the write speeds came in at 327.1 megabytes a second. With these kind of speeds, everything was very fast and efficient. Keyboard performance was good, just wish there was a little more key travel between the keys. Other than that, HP did a good job with the layout of the keyboard. Trackpad performance has been very good as well. From multi-touch gestures to two-finger scrolling, everything has been smooth and excellent. Combine that with the all-new left and right control zones, you've got yourself a feature-packed trackpad that will make Windows 8 more accepting to use. Next up, let's go ahead and open up this laptop on the bottom and take a look and see what we have underneath. And that will lead us to the next two topics, the speaker and battery performance. Battery performance has been excellent. On average, I'm able to get around 7 to 8 hours out of a full charge with screen brightness at around 70%. You can thank the huge battery pack and the power efficiency of the latest Intel Haswell chips. Next up, let's talk about speaker performance. The Beats audio speakers on this laptop is surprisingly very good considering its size and the way they are placed on the laptop. Hip hop music had a good amount of bass and mids and highs were also good. Overall, this is one of the best speakers I've heard on an Ultrabook laptop. If you're looking for the ultimate Ultrabook laptop that has one of the best designs and build quality on the market, then look no further than the all new HP Spectre 13-3010DX laptop. HP did a spectacular job with this laptop. From the excellent battery life performance to the easy to use control zone trackpad, this laptop has what it takes. My only issues with this laptop was the bottom aluminum finish did get occasionally very warm depending on my usage and the top truffle brown aluminum finish on top is a fingerprint magnet. Just be ready to clean this laptop daily. Alright this completes my review on the all new HP Spectre 13-3010DX laptop. If you enjoyed this video please click that like button and please subscribe for more upcoming videos. Alright thanks for watching guys. Peace.